Hello, in this video we will talk about this. This is a capacity controller or the seller also calls it the cell, seven cell meter, something like that. So basically, basically this is to test uh, batteries. Either lithium polymer, lithium uh, uh, iron, lithium ion, nickel metal hydro, nickel cadmium. I bought it to check the battery that I use in my restoration of a vacuum machine project. So this is a three cell 1,500 milliampere hour, 11.1 uh, volt nominal voltage, and a 40C of discharge rate. So let's try it. We just plug the standard connector to these terminals, and pay attention, the black wire, which is the ground, goes to the first pin, which is the minus, and then the others go to the one, two, three, but you need to care about this, it's already well dimensioned. It makes a loud sound when you plug it, and uh, it displays the total voltage, 11.44, and the kind is already correct. It is a LiPo. Let me zoom it a bit. This is a LiPo, and for this voltage, for a LiPo battery, this means it's a, it has a charge of 38%. If we press mode, we will cycle through the cells, So, no, sorry, we're not cycling through the cells. We are seeing the different modes of the device. So this is the minimum, maximum difference. We have a difference of 0 0.077 volt between the cells one and two. And then we see the different cells. So the cell one has 49%, 3.8 volts, cell two, and cell three. The most interesting feature of this device is that if we long press the button type it will balance the cell the battery this is really interesting and i don't know why the seller doesn't advertise this property and uh, we'll try it now you just long press here and when double beeps it starts the process so now it's going through the three cells we can see in the top cell one cell two cell three and it's comparing the voltages and it's uh, trying to balance them. Balance a uh, multi-cell battery means to put the three or the N cells it has at the same voltage. And this uh, must be done because from this cable we are just outputting the total voltage. It means we don't really know what the individual voltage in each cell and the, unless we, our device uses the balancing cables. In my case, the vacuum machine doesn't use this. It uses this. So if we keep using the machine and we don't really know what the voltage of the three, we could under uh, charge or discharge below the limit of one of the cell cells while the total voltage is still okay for a three um, cell configuration. So it's interesting to have always, if possible, this battery balance at the same level, the three, the three cells. So what it's doing is to compare the three voltages and takes the higher one and discharges it a bit at each one of the cycles. So if we live like this a few hours, at the end we will have the three cells all at 27%, which is the voltage, which is the uh, charge state of the lowest cell of the three. But there is something is not really nice. Okay, it's balancing the three. It's not putting the voltage from the higher one to the lower one. It's just discharging the higher cells, that's still okay. But what is not nice is that when the three cells will reach 27%, it will keep discharging. So I tried this, I left like uh, two or three hours till it was perfectly balanced. And if you don't unplug it, you forget it, it will keep on charging and charging and charging till it reaches really low percentage and then it will stop, I guess. So it's a pity, but at least it has the feature. So if we pay attention and we disconnect the few hours, we can really use this to balance our lithium polymer or other kind of chemistry batteries. Another thing I want to comment is we can also use for this kind of batteries like lithium ions. So the only thing is here we will need to select, I will show you with the lithium polymer. Now it's in lithium polymer. If we mm, click one in type, it goes to lithium iron and then lithium ion. So if this was a lithium ion with this voltage, it will have 61% of charge, but we see that 
with lithium polymer it's 38 uh, percent so let's say we have several of these in parallel sorry in series like in the in the battery of a laptop and we could check with this device what's the state of the laptop battery but i discovered if we check only one the reading is not correct it will always show it's at 94 percent or 100 percent even if it's really discharged one is not enough to to be used with this device what it can be done is you put let's say you want to char to check this cell but i told you if you check only one this uh, reading will not be accurate what you can do is to build just a two cell in series uh, wiring so you just need three wires one here one here and then we will have an extra cell here and then you test it and you check cell by cell like um, pressing this button cell and then you can check the individual voltage of one of the lithium ion batteries but i repeat if you check only one i guess it's because the device doesn't receive enough voltage the reading is not correct okay i hope uh, you found this interesting see you in the next video bye